Hi, welcome to my channel, Trine Divine Tarot. I am Trine and I will be doing a collective reading for the sun sign of Cancer. I have gone ahead and smoked my decks. I have anointed my wrists and we will be ready to go pretty soon. Um, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate that. I'm just going to do a reading as it comes to me. Uh, I just wanted to also let you know that Trine Divine Tarot is one channel. I don't have any other platform on YouTube. This is it. Before it was called Trine Divine Tarot, it was called At The Real Shell Bees, which I was just using it for personal use. Um, so if you are getting contacts from anybody with that name, At The Real Shell Bees, it is not me. I do not have an Instagram. I do not have a TikTok. I do not have a Facebook um, with those names either. So if you are getting messages from me or, you know, somebody taking my pic, you know, it's not. This is the only platform I have. This is my only channel. Okay, so be wary of that. All right, Cancer. We're going to go ahead and get into your reading. This is my very first tarot deck. I have many tarot decks, but this is my first one and it holds lots of energy, okay? Lots of energy. I um, try to fix this little wobbly, wobbly uh, picture here so we're more stationary. And remind you that my, my channel is a page right now in process page energy okay it doesn't have all the bells and whistles yet but we are soon to be tweaking that first card out for cancer is the ten of wands and we're gonna work on making this channel a little bit more professional a little bit more pretty but the message is top-notch okay the message is always top-notch don't judge a book by its cover just yet, okay? <laughs> All right, for Cancer, we have the Ten of Wands. So you're carrying a heavy load right now, Cancerian. You're kind of trapped in your emotions carrying this. It's a burden. It's your cross. I'm hearing cross to there. Cancerian. We have the Six of Wands, that's a victory, that's overcoming a situation, a situation that may have had you in the Eight of Swords energy, that had you in your feelings, that had you restricted, that had you confined, that had you um, in your head a lot. Um, we have the High Priestess energy here. The High Priestess energy is the Mother of the Moon. Cancer rules the Moon. So you could be a uh, very highly intuitive Cancer. Or you found something out and you're keeping it to yourself. Or information is allowing you to free yourself from these burdens and allow a victory to come in. Yeah, here we go, Cancer, Two of Cups. This may be a revelation about a relationship. There may be a new relationship on the horizon for you. This relationship may have been burdensome but I'm also hearing labor of love. This may be someone you've been connected to for quite some time. They may be coming in with an offer after a lot of stalling, or this could be you. Okay, more wand energy. 
we have the five of wands you're having a victory over this conflict a conflict that you've been you know carrying around in your head or this is a fight and or an argument but you're I think you've won the argument, Cancerian. <laughs> and your intuitive knowing has brought forth this victory too. You're like, yeah, I knew it. I know what you're up to. Or <laughs> I'm hearing that the Cancerian has lightened the load because that would have been too heavy for the horse to carry. Look at this energy. You couldn't carry it and neither could your horse. So in order to get on that horse and move forward and have a victory, you had to let go of at least five of these wands here. <laughs> All right, for Cancerian. Uh, the Eight of Cups wanted to come out, so walking away. I didn't flip all the way over. That's just what I saw. Walking away from this burden, from these empty cups. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune is here for the Cancerian. That's part of the Victory card. Moving forward. And you know what you're going towards with this compass here. Moving forward in the right direction, I'm hearing. Really tune in to that intuition. Because the higher realm is trying to, is trying to guide you in the right direction. They're dropping little hints for the Cancerian. They're dropping little hints, so you need to you need to start paying attention a little bit more, okay? And um, your your intuition may have been blocked here. Look at she has, you know, she has a blindfold on. I'm hearing trust yourself more. Trust your gut feeling. For Cancerian, please. Judgment. Something has been called to, to your attention. This is Archangel Gabriel sounding the alarm. Um, something from your past may have been affecting you people from your past, a situation from your past, may have been getting in the way of things, getting getting in the way of your forward movement. They could have been some haters or like a family conflict maybe. But judgment is here and there's a lot of healing going on with this cross here. It's a red cross. The Red Cross are healers. For Cancerian, please. The message for Cancerian. And typically, you're getting these pulls into the right direction. Just had to lighten your load a little bit so you can get on the horse and have your victory. And now these people that were once jabbing you with sticks and creating conflict in your life, what did I say, haters? Now they're onlookers and admiring you and cheering you on. You just had to take a little break with the four swords here. Or maybe you broke free from these 
this burden or these haters that were causing conflict in your life, like you realized what it was and like you're somehow, some way you freed yourself from this eight of swords energy. Okay, and then we have the Five of Cups here, which is water energy. This is a feeling of loss. This is a feeling of regret. Um, you didn't want to let something go, Cancerian. You kept holding on to it because that's what you may have thought you should have done. And that was your cross to bear. But I'm seeing a Cancerian using their intuition more. And being guided out of this. Kind of like pulling the blindfold down. Addressing the situation. And moving forward. Not all losses are bad. Some losses here are for your greatest good. How did I say? You have like a spirit team watching out for you. I'm here in divine timing. Or usually they're mixing fire and water. So maybe this is um, with the two of cups here something that just doesn't go together fire and water okay like water will put out a fire and fire will turn the water to steam and evaporate okay so maybe it just and you just kept on trying to make it work and it burdened you like I said, not all losses are bad. You're being guided to let it go and let it flow. And that's the message. I'm your little page of wands. The page of wands is a messenger. <laughs> so that's the message today for Cancerian. Or you can expect a new little message, what that little message will be. Um, we'll see. We'll try to connect that with our next reading. And with that being said, we are going to end it here. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. That would be greatly appreciated. And until next time, ciao, baby dolls.